and everything doesn't go as planned everything doesn't go as per standard operating procedures there are many things which are controllable and uncontrollable and even things which are controllable they go out of hand you cannot stop and think okay i have taken care of my sleep i have hacked my sleep i know how to go ahead and sleep well well that's not going to happen Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and it's really great to see you coming back every week and watching and consuming the content. My name is Anish Mohan and you are on this channel which I call Unwire. And through this channel I try to decide and decode various different topics which are of interest to me, whether it's in the area of technology, relationships or more so in your professional or your personal career. The interesting topic which I've been dabbling on recently is what leads to success in this modern age of technology, AI and variety of things and more importantly in this VUCA environment. And one thing which really caught my attention is how do individuals whether it is people who are at a C level or people who are Nobel prize winners what goes in their mind what does it take them to be successful and one of the critically interesting insight which i have been able to come across is most of them it's not necessary that they have had an engineering degree but more importantly the way they have approached their day to day life or they approach the aspects which they come across on on a day to day basis whether it's in the business or in the personal life and that's thinking like a scientist today a lot of things are unknown in our day to day life our past experiences allow us to go ahead and be successful in the future what's becoming more paramount is that how do you hone skills in terms of thinking acting and behaving like a scientist in our day to day life which enable us to tackle topics tackle situations tackle areas which we may be not thinking on a day to day basis and there are five key areas which i would like to double click and share what i have learned in terms of how do you behave and act like a scientist if you really want to be successful i'm not saying i'm an expert in this i've been in the industry for the last 25 plus years but i'm still not the best leader there is still long way for me to go however i believe i'm a student for life i continuously teach myself and this is one thing which i have been teaching on how i hone and enhance my skills of being like a scientist on a day to day job so the first piece or the first thing which you really uh, need to uh, hone on is you need to be a knowledgeable scientist in the topic of interest you cannot be a general scientist you cannot be an expert of all or the famous saying the master of all today in the age of tech ai and this volatile unpredictable environment it is impossible for any one of us to be an expert if there are people they are definitely unique and they are an anomaly in this entire aspect so hence it is important for you to be a knowledgeable person and more importantly be a knowledgeable skeptic what i mean about that is if you are knowledgeable about an area you will always have a certain level of skepticism when you look at scenarios in that specific environment so let's say if you are a chef and if you are trying to come up with a new recipe you have to have certain skepticism to ensure that if that skepticism hones you to perfect your art and enable you to create a perfect recipe or a perfect dish which may be of a michelin level and hence it is important as a first step you cannot be a skeptic uh, or just be knowledgeable but you have to combine the two to be honing that skill of acting like a scientist the second piece is as you go through your skepticism and as you try to double click you try to start investigating anomalies today we may be having standard operating procedures or what we call as sops whether it's in our personal life or whether it's in our professional life and everything doesn't go as planned everything doesn't go as per standard operating procedures there are many things which are controllable and uncontrollable and even things which are controllable they go out of hand and what causes them to go out of hand what are those anomalies what are those areas or concerns or issues or situations which are causing anomalies it's not anomalies which are with environment societal but even in our day to day life for example for me my health is more important and one of the key aspect of the health is sleep i've been monitoring my sleep through devices and through other mediums in terms of what is causing me not to sleep and investigating that anomaly has made me teach the kind of food the what kind of things i do before sleeping my mental state before i go to sleep you know the lighting the ambience the temperature in the room and many of those facets if you try to start being a knowledgeable skeptic and try to start dissecting the anomalies you will be able to perfect i would not say perfect is a wrong word sorry but you will be able to enhance your sleep and have a more better sleep i would say but when you get up the next day you will be feeling a little bit more fresh energetic and 
also improve your life so that's just one area of how you can really start investigating anomalies and there are many things in our life which we do where we will be able to come across these anomalies and do not neglect these anomalies oh this is a uh, god's or an almighty or somebody else is doing so you know I, it's uncontrollable no you can dissect that a little bit and try to see how you can either avoid overcome or ensure that it doesn't happen again so that's the second aspect the third piece is you've investigated anomalies you need to start thinking about how do you build scenarios or build these hypotheses before you go ahead and try to solve something you are able to clearly articulate a testable hypothesis i'll take an example of the sleep itself now i might have come across many of the hypotheses whether it's food the ambience my st mental state the temperature in the room the lighting in the room and various other factors how how I'm able to create these list of hypotheses and I'm able to articulate it to myself and more so able to articulate it in a way where I can test these hypotheses and ensure that the outcomes which I get, whether they are qualitative or quantitative, I'm able to go ahead and take action of them and able to resonate with them and more importantly imbibe and perceive them on a day-to-day -day basis and hence it's important for me uh, when I go on these journeys of defining the problem statement in my mind for a particular anomaly and then trying to create these hypotheses I ensure that they are articulated enough defined enough so that I can go ahead and solve for it but you know we are all humans uh, we all believe in hard evidence and that's where the fourth aspect comes in in any science journal if somebody goes ahead and says the sun is is blue it's not orange or the yellow the color which it has all of us would be looking for hard evidence for us to believe in that science for it to be believable for people to recognize or for you to yourself to recognize it it's important that you produce these hard evidence which allow you to recognize that science and not only for you but in your organization in your personal life as a student if you are able to produce that hard evidence if you are able to produce data backed with knowledge and backed with experiments and backed with outcomes of those experiments you'll be able to convince the other person or the larger society that you know why sun is blue in real life as an example actually it is not blue or i don't know the real color of the sun in its dominant state i would use the word but uh, that's where i would say it is important as how you go ahead and uh, ensure that you produce these hard evidences and last but not the least is let's say you take action you go ahead and implement certain aspects which you have learned which you are trying to improve or you're trying to change in your life or at your work or in your university or wherever you may be at uh, from a career from a juncture where you stand today you would have different things which come up which may have not been seen in the past and there will be different causes or different scenarios you need to start probing and that's the fifth area you need to start probing the cause and effect what's causing certain scenarios and what is the effect of it and i'm still learning about it because candidly there are a lot of causes and the effect or the impact it has on different causes even though i've been through this entire process of you know being a skeptic or trying to go ahead and detect these anomalies and then put together hypotheses and then build evidences around my hypotheses and take action so it's it's like a continuous loop you cannot stop and think okay i have taken care of my sleep i have hacked my sleep i know how to go ahead and sleep well well that's not going to happen there's definitely going to be some causes which is going to impact my sleep and i will then have to look at okay how does it impact my health so the last step this topic may involve and I might come with a part two of this video or an enhanced video or what I have learned further but this interesting piece of continuous loop is critical you can't say that you've achieved the nirvana stage or you've reached a state where you know you are able to go ahead and solve everything what you had ought to solve today even people who won Nobel prizes they always say that they definitely have tracked something which would have not been possible in the past but that uh, study or that area evolves as well so this continuous loop of probing the cause and effect is also critical and yeah uh, you know if you really want to be successful in life behaving and acting like a scientist and learning skill on how you can be a scientist is one of the key things which i've been honing on on my day-to-day -day life if you like this kind of video please do share your feedback and comments in the comment box and i'll look forward to you participating in my future videos take care be safe and stay healthy